Help. Engaged. Greetings everyone, the Infiltrator class is showcased in this episode. Let's take a quick look at the upgrade paths I have chosen for this character. For the Tactical Cloak, I have chosen to make it last longer and be able to use a power when cloak is enabled. The Human Infiltrators have the Cryo Blast as a power, which can prove useful, as you will see shortly. For the fitness and training categories, I have concentrated on powers and melee attacks, since I intend to use this character for close quarter stealth melee takedowns. I only have one weapon, the M3 Predator X pistol, with an extra melee damage mod attached. With this gun, I have a plus 200 power recharge rate, and I will also be able to do more melee damage to enemies. I will be using strictly hit and run tactics, otherwise I will not last long, since enemies will still fire at you, whether you are cloaked or not. Enemies will try to surround you, and you will often find yourself taking fire from multiple directions, so it is a good practice to keep moving. This is a stealth melee takedowns video, so I will not be firing my weapon to kill enemies, but if I was, things would suddenly become much easier. I also have a couple of grenades I could throw, which can clear a room full of enemies. But using melees only, is something I am doing for fun, and believe me, it is not easy. Surviving even one wave, is an achievement, in my opinion. I will however, be using the Cryo Blast power, because it doesn't kill enemies, it just immobilizes them. If I encounter two enemies, I can freeze one of them, and then concentrate on the other one. Technically, I am still melee killing them, but a few of them just happen to be frozen. This is known as the grab melee kill, and it does look pretty cool. Hey buddy, have the decency to just die. That's one wave down, I will only be showing three waves, otherwise this video would be about an hour long. I will just move things along a little, by fast forwarding, every now and then.
As you can see, every time I perform a heavy melee, I almost always get caught with a melee hit myself, that's why it's good to freeze enemies first. In my experience, Centurions cannot be frozen, but the ice will slow them down. The next mission type, Disabling Devices, is probably the hardest type of mission to complete, without a team. The enemy has established a communication array. Your mission is to find and disable the targets. Infiltrators have a better chance at success, but you need a little bit of luck. Device disabled. The third device has been placed awkwardly, and you should have full cloak energy, before even attempting to disable it. But thanks to all these enemies, I ran out of energy. I thought I was done, but no, damn it, what a waste of time. Nearly died there. I ended up using an op survival pack, which fully restores health and shields. Let's try this again. Find those targets and shut them down. Device disabled. Out of my way, asshole. Note how they can still hit me, even though I am cloaked. Great, health gone again. Last device. Find those targets and shut them down. Targets down. Mission accomplished. Now to take care of these Cerberus frackers. Damn, had to use another op survival pack, but I am determined to complete this particular wave. I have survived all 11 waves, with both an Infiltrator and a Vanguard class, but like I said before, it takes too long to complete. It is definitely better to play with a team, but there is no harm in playing alone, if you want to try out a particular weapon or power, with a specific character.
Last enemy, and it happens to be a nemesis, which is basically a female sniper. And that's about it, for this time. Please comment, thumbs up and subscribe, if you like this video, and I will see you soon, goodbye.